Hi everyone, welcome to a video all about travel essentials. I am going to be showing you what I pack in and how I keep things organized and minimal. But before we begin, I need to make a very important distinction. This video is about containment, not what is going in the bags or containers. So I'm not talking about versatile clothing, but I am talking about the container that I use to house my jewelry while I travel, for example. All right, with that out of the way, let's get to the first essentials. And of course, those are going to be the actual bags that I am traveling with, I have one backpack and one duffel bag. So I have a black Lululemon backpack that has a bunch of pockets, which is great for travel. It also is a personal item size for the plane, so I can take it wherever during air travel. And it just is a good sturdy bag, whether I'm using it day to day or for trips. Now, my friends, it is looking a little worse for wear. You can tell that I have tried to glue this little emblem back on a hundred times. Yeah, it is looking really really rough to be honest like it is not in good shape i've had this bag for mm, almost 10 years or something like that but guess what it still gets the job done it can still contain everything i need it to when i travel so the way that i see this is this is my personal item and i prefer that to be in backpack form and again i've already mentioned it but this has a ton of pockets that's also something i would suggest if you are looking to get a backpack for travel. It's just so easy to keep things organized and separated. All right, so that is it for my backpack, which is also my personal item. But of course I just take this on day trips too. And now let's move on next to what I would consider a carry-on. And that is my Lululemon duffel bag. So this one is quite a good size. It can fit a lot more than you expect. And it too has a lot of pockets, which is great for travel. And I also like the versatility and the way that this bag can be carried. It has a shoulder strap, but it also can be carried by hand as well from the handles. So bag number two, what I consider my carry-on, this is my Lululemon duffel bag. It too is not looking the absolute best. In better condition than the backpack, I must say, because I use it a little less frequently, but still not looking too, too great. But again, it's serving its purpose. It's doing what it needs to do. Now let's just talk a second about like this style of bag, this like medium size duffel bag, I call it. I also consider it a weekender bag, by the way. So it's either a carry-on item or something that I would take for a weekend away, even if I wasn't traveling by air. And as a second option, I really like the duffel style of bag. Firstly, it can fold pretty flat, so it doesn't take up that much room for storage. I also like having my luggage lifted up off the ground. I totally understand if you're a carry-on with wheels like suitcase person, that makes all the sense in the world to me. You know, you can take some strain off your shoulders, but I actually don't prefer that whatsoever. I find they get really dirty and damaged and they're really difficult to store. That's the biggest thing is in everyday life, they're very, very hard to store and take up a lot of space. So I much prefer the duffel bag style and I typically wear it across my shoulder. It's also worthy to note that these two in combination together, so the backpack and the duffel bag, is more than I would ever need when I travel. I have literally traveled for like, I wanna say about three months with just these two bags, the backpack and the duffel bag. And I had, you know, more than enough. I have an extremely minimal closet in my opinion. And I, I just, everything is minimalist, like no matter whether I'm traveling or not. So I don't need any more than this personal item and carry on, you know, could offer unless I'm literally moving somewhere. So that is my second duffel bag. That's what I consider my carry on item. If I'm going for an extended stay and it is plenty big to store all the things that I could possibly need during travel. Okay. And then the next most vital bag system that I have while traveling incorporates these two sets of bags. So these are technically makeup pouches, but I use them to store anything from yes, makeup to also like hair care, skincare, anything, you know, toiletries related. And of course my needs do change from trip to trip. So I find having a few sizes really makes sense because I can pack as minimally as possible. So let's say I'm going somewhere where I'm not interested in wearing makeup and I'm only going to be bringing five makeup items. Okay, well I can very easily fit all my 
makeup in this clear pouch and that's it and it's organized. But let's say instead I'm going to a wedding and I actually might need to bring hair tools, which is actually very, very rare for me traveling. I might need to bring this really large bag and house my hair care in this one. So what combination of bags I use just depends on you know how long the trip is and what type of trip I am going on. Let's talk about the bags themselves now though. I have this set of three clear bags from MAC. These are so good because they're sturdy so they can like sit nicely on a countertop when you're traveling. They're also clear and not only is that easy when I'm on the go to see what I am pulling out you know at my destination but it's also good for security if I'm traveling by air. So this clear set of three is an absolute must for me for travel and then of course I have the black set as well. These ones are also from MAC and they are sturdy still in the sense that the material is like very robust. It's not going to rip, but they are soft. They're not as structured. This means that I can, you know, shove a few more things into these ones. They're a little bit more adaptable and I find myself using them so frequently during travel. They're just fantastic, good quality bags to have. Okay. So not too much more to say about these other than I think it's a good idea to have, you know, toiletry bags or makeup bags that are very, very versatile in a few different sizes when you travel. I've also had these for probably about the same amount of time, about 10 years, and these are holding up so, so well. So if you're going to invest in bags like these, I would suggest, you know, either going really high end or really low end, almost like going to a Ziploc bag or something like this, you know, a very good quality bag that's going to withstand the test of time, even during travel, which tends to be tough on items like this. So that is it for everything related to makeup, skincare, hair care, body care, anything in the toiletries department. These are the bags that I go to. Now, one small thing relating to those toiletry bags is I would actually tuck in a Ziploc bag and a size that's approved to put gels and liquids for flying. I have never once had an issue putting my liquids in any of those three clear bags, but it doesn't hurt to just have a backup Ziploc bag just in case and it takes up like no space. Plus sometimes I find Ziploc bags come in handy. I have had like makeup items explode on me, just pop it in the Ziploc bag. It is fairly versatile, so I would strongly suggest just taking one of these if you have one. Next up, and I feel like this is an important one and it could be overlooked, is just just bringing an extra, you know, foldable bag. This one is from Ikea a few years ago. And like I said, it is foldable. So it's really compact and easy to travel with. And the material is actually pretty strong. I have put this to the test. I have put a lot of stuff in these bags before and nothing has ever happened. No rips, no tears. So if you are packing a foldable bag, I would suggest getting a pretty tough one. So this is key when I travel and sometimes I actually travel with multiples. You might head shopping at your destination. You could do groceries. You could head to the beach and need something to put all your wet garments in. In comes the magical, versatile, foldable bag, good for anything. I always end up pulling this out. This is something during travel, whether it's for a day or for three months, I always find I need this. Even if my stuff just starts to expand, you know, when you pack, it's all, it's all cute, it's all folded and things just start expanding and expanding. Let's say you're on a weekend away. Well, great. You don't want to tuck everything back perfectly into your little bags. You can just shove some stuff into this foldable bag. There are just so many uses for something like this during travel. So yeah, this is definitely one of my top tips for containment and moving on from this little bag. <laughs> To another little bag. So inside of my Lululemon backpack and duffel bag is one of these. This is just a simple, small folded bag with a drawstring top. And I'm telling you, I love this thing. It is absolutely perfect for laundry. When we are in tight, compact spaces, like we always are when we're traveling, it is so nice to keep your clean clothes from your dirty. And having a little mini laundry bag like this can go a long way when you travel, trust me. And I actually like this bag in particular for laundry with the little drawstring top. I find it really convenient and easy to use, but of course you can use any old bag. Even if you forget a laundry bag, you can use the foldable bag that I previously mentioned. So you thought I was probably done with the bag chat by now, but no. <laughs> I have one more set of bags to talk about. These ones are lightweight, breathable mesh bags. I have them from the brand NYX from purchasing a few undergarments from that brand over the years. And these ones just have a little zipper open and closure. So we are kind of still on the laundry theme with these NYX bags. That's actually what they're meant for. And in my day-to-day -day life, I do use them to put more delicate items in to go into the laundry. And of course I can do that too while traveling, but 
primarily what I use these bags for are just to store my undergarments. I am not a packing cube kind of person. I don't tend to put all my tops together, all my bottoms together. I have tried that method. It did not work for me for those larger items. What I do want consolidated are really small items that just get lost and chaotic in a travel bag. And in the clothing world, that tends to be undergarments for me. So what I do is I just bring a NYX bag and I put absolutely everything in this one bag and it just keeps it all in the same spot. All right, my friends, with these NYX bags, that is done. <laughs> the bag talk has ceased but we are moving on now to a whole new category. We are talking about the tubes and containers that go in the toiletry bag that go in the travel bag. So let's start off first with the tubes. These ones are from Human Gear. They are called the Go Tubes and they are the absolute best ones that I've found for travel. I actually have six of these in total, two small, two medium, and two large. And of course, the largest of the three is still at that 100 milliliter mark, so it is fine to take on a plane. My friends, I swear by these. I actually use them in my daily life as well. That's a whole other story though. But they are well loved and well used and they withstand the test of time. I have never had a single thing leak from these tubes. And that's all I want when I travel, to be honest. Like I just want my liquids and gels and creams to not leak and to have a proper storage place. So I have a few of these little containers in varying sizes, similar to, you know, the toiletries bags, just depends on what items I am taking and how much I'm going to need and how long I am going. So these are really sturdy, very good quality, extremely expensive, not gonna lie, but absolutely worth every penny in my opinion. All right, and so those are the Human Gear Go Tubes. Let's talk about their sisters now, the Go Tub. So again, the brand is Human Gear, and these are just some hard case containers to store whatever items you need to. They have a clear top, so you can easily see what's in them and they're really easy to open and close. I have them in a small, medium, and large and I actually have two sets so I have six in total. Again, I have nothing but amazing things to say about these containers. I do use them in my daily life, but of course I use them for travel as well. And again, you just have different needs when you travel. So sometimes you need a small, sometimes you need the medium, sometimes you need the large. I like having a variety of sizes when it comes to these containers in my daily life and for travel. For instance, right now, I actually have my entire jewelry collection, believe it or not, in this teeny tiny little one, and that's where it lives normally. But when I travel, okay, I can just take this tiny little container, bring it with me, and I'm ready to go. And I know that you can store stuff in a whole variety of containers, but I just prefer having like one set system. I prefer them all to be matching just to keep things really easy and straightforward. And I prefer to have a bunch of different sizes just depending on what I want to take with me on the go. So that is it for the tubs and tubes. And now I just have two more things to talk about when it comes to containment during travel. Number one is what to do with my toothbrush. I actually tend to purchase toothbrushes that come with their own little cap. That's what I prefer to do. I have used travel toothbrushes in the past and I find them just really gross, don't like them whatsoever. So I have just switched to bringing whatever toothbrush is on the go with me, but I'll purchase the ones with the little cap. And then next up is actually with my razor. I will keep the cap that the razor had originally it came in and this is what I travel with. It protects it just fine. It has a little bit of grip so it doesn't just slide off. And again, this is an area that I used to buy a travel razor and keep it specifically for travel. And I just found that that was, you know, completely unnecessary. I could just bring the razor that I'm currently using if I keep the container that the razor head came in. So that is it, my friends. Those are all the things I use to contain the stuff that I am bringing with me on my travels. It took me years, like so many years to get to this point to get to the system that works perfectly for me. And of course, the system isn't going to work for everyone. I completely understand that, but there might be at least an idea or two that you want to implement the next time that you travel from this video. And if you did happen to like it, if you liked seeing what I pack my stuff in as a minimalist when I travel, then definitely feel free to give this video a like. If you like me, if you like the content that I'm producing on this channel in general, then please consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. All right, everyone, I'll just thank you so much for being here and I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.